Ontario restaurants will close for in-room dining and only be open for takeout and delivery. Ain't no stopping me now. for you buddy and how you're doing with your menu ready to go you know what i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know jack shit, but i heard this is the best authentic mexican cuisine restaurants are closing what do i need to eat to fully taste mexico okay are you gonna let me choose for you you know what okay listen i like to eat a lot anything in this menu that you think I need to eat to experience Mexico, I give you the power to order it for me. You got it. Like everything. Welcome to Mexico, brother. Okay, everyone, and here we are with this delicious looking spread of food. Seriously, I'm so excited to finally find authentic Mexican cuisine in Canada. So I'm here with Rufino, who is one of the uh, owners here. So he's gonna walk us through what I have in front of me, because these, like, I don't even know what half of this stuff is. It's freaking amazing. I just ordered. Take it away, my friend. Okay, so we're gonna start from over here. Over here, we got the alambre, which is the Mexican way we make the fajitas. So we add bacon, cheese to the fajitas. It can be either grilled steak or grilled chicken. Uh, Joel over here decided to do grilled steak. And then on this side, we got the tacos dorados. The tacos dorados are rolled corn tortillas with chicken inside, and then they come topped with sour cream, queso fresco, and avocado sauce on the top. Over here, we got the enchilada patriota. The enchilada patriota is two enchilada salsa verde, two enchilada salsa roja, and then in the middle comes with grilled, grilled chicken. Really, really good, one of my favorites. Over here, we got the oreja de elefante. The oreja de elefante is a breaded steak, uh, comes with french fries, frijoles charros. The frijoles charros are beans with bell pepper, onion, and bacon, and then a little bit of salad. And then over here, we got the classic burrito. Classic burrito comes with some pork chicharron, which is the, the pork, pork skin. And over here, we got our two special dishes. Over here, we got the pozole. The pozole is our award-winning soup. Um, it's corn stew with pork rinds, um, pork, lettuce, and avocado. It comes with limes, oregano that you can put on top, uh, chili de arbol, and onion. And then the very special one over here at the house is the molcajete. The molcajete it's a um, stone mortar that comes with five different kinds of, of meat inside. It comes with chorizo, grilled chicken, grilled steak, al pastor pork, frijoles charros, and it comes also with avocado and queso fresco. You can make your own tacos out of it. So, mouth watering right now. I'll stop, I'll stop right now because mouth watering a lot right now. <laughs> I, am, I am absolutely speechless. Everything looks so amazing, and I'm so excited to get into it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with this uh, this dish here. Which, I mean, it lo actually looks so delicious. I saw it all bubbling and everything. So, and we got all kinds of sauces. They even brought me a little bit of the ghost pepper habanero sauce. So maybe I'll get into that. So yeah, I just, I am, my mouth is watering. I'm so excited. Everything just looks phenomenal. So let's dive in. 
So I'm going to start with, uh, you take some of this. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. And you put it on a tortilla. Oh my gosh, here, I'm going to show you guys this. It's just swimming in delicious juices and everything. Oh my gosh. Just, just look at that. That is amazing looking. Oh, all right. Throw on some guacamole they make here because I love guac. I have some uh, pico de gallo here as well. I love pico de gallo. Got to have a little bit of a, a lime. That's a very Mexican thing. Some lime on the taco. And uh, I'll try this red, kind of red sauce, red salsa. Okay. I am pumped. Oh my god, that looks so good. It's, oh. All right, let's try it. That's, it's the best way to put it. It's really what I am coming to find and really differentiates authentic Mexican cuisine from all the others. Fresh. You guys who love cheese, just look at that. It actually, like, even with cheese, I know I'm not the biggest cheese fan, but this tastes so good. Mm. I love the flavors of those salsas. The lime just adds a nice little bit of citrus acidity. Oh my gosh, this just looks so delicious. Pico is, again, just super fresh, super crisp. I just want so much of this stuff. I just want it all in my mouth. Don't take that in a weird way. All right, I'm gonna try some of this ghost pepper habanero sauce. Apparently it's super spicy, so I may regret putting all that on this. Some delicious guac. Oh, I love the guacamole too. I'm gonna put some more of this red sauce and a really nice flavor to it. This is by far one of the most exceptional meals I've had in a very long time. I can't wait to come back once things open. Oh. All right, here we go. This one I'm gonna take in two bites. I really loaded this one. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. That is phenomenal. I love the flavors of the beef too. Mm. Oh, you got you spilled on my shirt. I don't even care right now, it's so good. I'm gonna put some more of that ghost pepper habanero sauce on it. It's actually really good. It's like spicy, but not crazy spicy. That is so delicious. This is, oh man, just, I just eat this. Mm. Oh, the peppers. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's just so good. Mm. Honestly, like, I'm broken. I can't talk. I have literally nothing else to say besides like... Oh my gosh, just look at that. Look at the juiciness. That crisp peppers, that beef, even that cheese. I actually really like this ghost pepper habanero sauce. It's spicy, but there I put way too much, but... Oh, so good. And this guac. Mm. Everything's so good. I'm just gonna start using my hands. Pico, some lime. Oh yeah. 
Mm, some more red sauce. I love all these flavors. Just the flavors, the sauces are so damn good. And these warm corn tortillas. Delicious. That was exceptional. I'm definitely feeling that ghost pepper heat in my mouth right now though, but way better than I ever could have hoped for or dreamed. That was the best thing ever. So impressed. All right, let's go for some of these delicious looking enchiladas. Man, that was so good though. Ooh, loved it. Actually, let's try one of these crispy, delicious looking chicken taco things. Have a little bit of both. Mmm. Ooh. Crisp, it's acidic. It tastes the guac, the richness. Listen to this bite. Oh man. Taste and texture. It goes so well. Because you have like richness from the avocado, richness from the deep fried tortilla, the chicken is nicely flavored inside. The guac is super fresh, add some ghost pepper sauce. Absolutely amazing. It's green salsa. It's also very day, I believe it's called. Fresh. This is such a nice meal, I don't even think I could rush it if I tried. Crisp. And tender on the inside, moist. Oh, the flavors! I eat the lettuce because health. Now, back to these delicious looking enchiladas. So, got this one with the salsa verde on it. It's lime, it's acidic. I know I keep saying the word fresh, but that's just good to describe it. It's like herbal, herbal. It just opens up your palate. Exceptional flavors, just sensational. Like really, I just like this ghost pepper habanero sauce. Mm. Put a little bit of guac on it. And honestly, that little bit of like, it's, I forget what it's called, something fresco on it or the sour cream on it. That little bit of um, kind of like dairy creaminess goes really, really well with just how fresh and acidic. I'm trying to come up with different words besides fresh. Oh, exceptional. In the red sauce. Equally as good. Definitely get more of a of a pepper taste versus kind of that verde lime taste. Whoops, making a mess. And that chicken and steak in between. That's pico on it. Tostada de tiga. Fried chicken, okay. Chicken, fried fried uh, tortilla, chicken, and sour cream. Oh my gosh! Okay, and we got an addition. Thank you. This looks delicious. 
I might just try this one right away. I'm definitely gonna try this one right away. Oh, it's heavy. Look at this. Look at this thing. Here, I'm just gonna bite this right now. Oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna need like this as a bib. Check this out, guys. Mm. Woo! That's spicy. Yeah. That's delicious. Man. Ooh, wow. Mm. What was this called? Tostadas de pinga. Exceptional. Woo! Got a nice bit of heat to it. It's so, oh man. Just awakening my taste buds. Mm. And the crisp texture of that tostada. Mm. Okay, that was amazing. That was phenomenal. Holy jumpers. So much flavor. Honestly, I've never, ever, 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 ever had Mexican food like this. This is exceptional. So the owners of this restaurant moved from Mexico to Canada just a couple months ago. And I can tell you this is a taste of authenticity. So here we have a fried steak, some french fries, some beans, and some salad. Try these beans first. Okay, so these beans, again, just peppers. Such a nice little bit of juice to them. I can't really show you that well, it's a tip of it. It tastes kind of porky. Oh, just so much flavor in it. Some avocado, some greens. Ooh, the avocado is exceptional. Very ripe. Perfect. This is a pineapple on this salad. Some carrots. Whatever they use to, for a dressing on that salad. It's lovely. Nice and light. All right, here's this. Here's the fried steak, which looks really good actually. Oh, mm. Mm. oh man, the seasoning. Ooh, I don't, hold on, wait. There's a flavor I can't put my finger on. But it's super tasty. I gotta use lots of cheese. Ooh, it's such a nice, like, It's like, oh. I seriously am broken. I don't know how to describe it. It's so good. It's just like, oh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like oregano, it's like maybe ch like pepper. I don't know, it's so good. I'll try it with some sauces. Mm. Oh man, I tried the ghost pepper sauce. That one's spicy. Mm. Oh. Perfection. It's just true perfection. So here we got a burrito. Here we have their award-winning pork stew. And then this thing, which is freaking amazing, this is essentially a whole bunch of, like you said, beans, a whole bunch of different meats in this mortar. Like this is made of lava rock and it's hot. And I make tacos out of that, which I'm super excited for for that. 
because I still have all my uh, I still have all my little sauces here, my salsas. So I'm gonna eat the uh, I eat the burrito next. Ooh, look at that! Got some rice on it, some nice beef. It's barbacoa. There's some refried beans on there. I don't want it to fall. Nice density and these and pork rinds. I don't think I've ever had pork rind before, so. Nice flavor, very crunchy. Delicious, fresh taste of that barbacoa. Some avocado on here for sure, like the guacamole. I love the taste of their guacamole. Whatever they're doing to it is just perfection. Place this one up. Delicious burrito. Lovely. Mm. It sounds funny, but that's a really good tasting chip. That's gonna be delicious. Here goes the salad. Lovely flavor. I could have food all over my face right now, do you know what? I don't care. This is phenomenal. Let's eat this uh, awesome award-winning stew. So they competed in a competition in Mexico City and they won first out of over 50 businesses. So I believe I was told I need to taste this first. Ooh. I don't even know how to describe that. It's like rich, it's tangy, it's savory, and Apparently what you eat is you bite a tostada and then you eat the, you take a mouthful of the soup. But they told me to try it and like spice it up. So they have oregano, add a little bit of oregano. All right, before I do a little bit of chili de arbol, that's, that's his, that is super, super hot. This so. is super hot? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's just, super hot. So just a little bit? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with a bit. Mix that in, and uh, definitely the onions, we'll just throw all the onions in. And some lime. Because it looks delicious. All right, I'll mix this one up. And there's pork rinds in this as well. Mm. It smells good. You guys see that? Delicious looking stew with some corn in it. Ooh, ooh, that is hot. Mmm, mm. okay, no toast die. Mm. Mm. I really like the pork right now too, actually. Kind of softened it up a bit. Good amount of heat now with that pepper in it. Mm. Oregano is super fresh. Goes really well with the other flavors, textures. These corn that are in it are very like soft and kind of almost spongy. So you have like some really cool mix of textures going on. This is crisp and crunchy. Mm. 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 
My soup is soft and savory and spicy now. He was right about this pepper sauce. It's hot. And again, I've said a hundred times, it's just fresh. I have definitely never had a soup like this before. It's a stew. Absolutely delicious. Ooh, but it's spicy. Ooh. I'm glad he told me that. <coughs> that was hot. <coughs> delicious. I love that. All right, now onto our volcanic <coughs> awesome mess. So again, I take the chorizo, the pork, the uh, chicken, the beans, and there's cactus in here too. Look, I'll show you, look at that, it's still steaming. But it's cactus, cactus and beans right now you're seeing on that spoonful. And you eat this on, follow the people fully, bro. Oh, delicious. Was it good? It was delicious. All right, and you can make your own tacos out of the molcajete as well. Amazing. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy, buddy. Thank you. Some corn tortillas, which are nice and warm. And I'm gonna mix this up. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it, this thing's still really hot. Even after all that time, steaming hot. So I was instructed, so this is the, I ordered the one for two people. You can get the one for six people as well, which would be, it would be big. Cause this is, a, this is a good size, not gonna lie. Especially good size for one person. Ooh, my mouth and throat still burning from that hot chili. Man, <clears throat> okay, this looks awesome. Uh, hold on, I'll burn my hands for a second for you guys. Just look at it, hold on, look how fresh that looks. Look at it. Cactus, guacamole. <laughs> Peppers. Oh man, this is this is a treat. All right, let's try this. Hope I don't burn myself. All right, <clears throat> that looks like a good bit. <clears throat> Oops. It's delicious. Look at that. Mm. Guacamole because I've been loving that guac. Pico de gallo. A little bit of the red sauce. There's a little bit of the ghost pepper. Let's look at it. That looks delicious. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Mm. Mm. I love the taste of it all, that corn tortilla. Oh. Guys, that broke me. It's that good. I don't even know, I, I like, I'm gonna stop even just trying to describe this stuff. It's just heavenly. Mm. The beans, the flavors, the cactus, the spice. Oh, it's like, it's savory. Again, it's fresh. It's crisp. It's succulent. It is tantalizing my taste buds. There you go, how's that? You can taste like the, the chorizo, the flavors in that barbacoa. Excellent as well. Mm. I love the taste of that guac. Oh boy. That was perfect. <clears throat> The lime, just that nice bit of acidity. Oh. Just look at it. Words can't describe, y'all. Words can't describe. And the interesting thing is because that dish has so many different things in it, 
This bite is totally different than the last. Like this one, I very much taste the sausaginess of the chorizo. Because they're both more lime lime, I also really get that lime flavor. It's almost like this dish is not just one dish, but I would say this is like a, a dish that you can, this is like having multiple like dishes in one dish. Because I know that makes sense. Mm, phenomenal. Avocado. Ooh. Yeah, this is like the ultimate dish. I think more dishes in a lot of places should be like that, where it's dynamic. That's the word. This is a dynamic dish that's ever changing and always delicious. Yeah, same with that bite. A lot more of that chorizo flavor. Nice sausage, that cured flavor. And it's still hot. It's very hot. This is so cool. I think this is probably my favorite dish. The little tostada they brought out to me was exceptional. And this is by far also, I mean, honestly, uh, I don't know though. Everything was really, really good. That fried steak was good. Get this out of the mortar just because it's hot, but it is very, very delicious. Mm. Just look at that. Just look at it. You don't even need the tortillas to enjoy it. Mm. Oh, I love it. Put the rest of my guac and all the good stuff on it. Definitely not letting that go to waste. Just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. It's very, very good. I have to come back. Oh boy, I really have to come back. Phenomenal. I love that. I'm also going to get some dessert. So they have authentic churros here. So at that, I love like anything to do with fried dough. So I'm sure I'm going to enjoy these churros. So I'm super excited. I already got the order in. All right. Actually. Ready right. for the churros? Yes. Oh yeah, oh, brother. Man. There you go. This is phenomenal. <laughs> so, enjoy the churros, man. So what do we have on the churros though? So churros are uh, five, five past three and they come with chocolate sauce and uh, a strawberry sauce. And then on the side comes with cafeta, which is the Mexican caramel. Amazing. Really, really good, brother. So Enjoy, man. I love it, thank you. So fried pastry, ooh, nice and warm. Oh, cinnamon sugar. Look at that, chocolate sauce. And that's what the other side looks like. I haven't had a churro in so long. And then, what he could describe as a Mexican caramel. Hold on, I'm gonna try that the caramel first. I'll come closer to this one. I have stuff all over my shirt, I don't care. Uh. I really wish I could share with you guys. Warm, oh, it's so warm. It's crispy. It's sweet, it's savory. This is everything I want in life. And now I'll try it in this caramel. So I'm sure it's gonna be even better. Uh. Just leave me here. Just leave me. Mm. Oh. That takes the creaminess, the richness. To a whole other level. Oh my gosh. What is it? So good. Mm. Oh. Mm. And this is very caramelly flavored. 
That makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense, I don't care right now. This is so good. All right, these are a game changer. These are life changing. Just, oh. It's so good. It's just sweet. Oh, it's cinnamony. It's Christmas! And. Mm. Just look at it. Guys, this is a treat. This is a real, real dang treat right here. I could die a happy man. That was exceptional, everybody. Absolute huge thank you to everybody here talking about Missy. Like, these guys really know what's going on. Definitely the best Mexican cuisine I've ever had in my life. I think it was fresh, exceptional. So I don't care where you are in the world or where you are in Ontario, you gotta come to Taco Embassy. Luckily, I clarified, because I'm coming back, they're doing takeout, they're doing pickup during the whole closure. So I'm literally, it's worth the drive. I'm coming back. Oh, so good, so fresh. Hey there, buddy, thank you so much. Till next time, mm. stay happy, I'll be hungry. Happy eating. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some more of these churros. So good, so good. Uh, happy eating, everybody. Bravo! You are the champion, man. Oh, nice, look at that. I got a belt. Taco Embassy champion. Taco Embassy champion. Seriously, that is phenomenal. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go clean my hands and I'll show you guys that this awesome sombrero. I seriously might get some more of these churros though. They were damn good. Oh, so good. And I'm back, y'all. See the sun's coming out here. So I got two of their, what they call fresh waters, which is really cool. This is a unique thing they have. So this is tamarind fresh water and this is hibiscus fresh water. And then I had to get another round of churros because they were that good. Just look at them. And I put on this big sombrero I was talking about. So look, it's like, it's massive. But uh, that was exceptional. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Crispy, delicious looking churros with that caramel. Let's try this fresh water. So these are like basically waters they're like infusing here with like natural, it's not like flavorings, it's like natural ingredients. This is tamarind, this is fruit. Apparently this is a... Ooh, that's really cool. Mmm. So it's tart. It's kind of citrusy, tart, but it's just like, it's nice. It's like juice, but not overly sweet. A little sweet. Mmm. And then hibiscus. You can definitely taste the hibiscus in this. But again, same thing. Light, fresh, refreshing. That on the on the patio, they have a big patio outside. In the summer, would be exceptional. I mean, if you wanted to put, I won't mention putting alcohol in it because some people probably would, but it is damn good. And just look at this churro. Just focus. Look at that. That's phenomenal. Hands down, the best Mexican cuisine I've ever had. This is more authentic than what I had in Southern California. The owners of this restaurant literally just moved to Canada and they own restaurants in Mexico. So they know what they're doing. And I will be back. In the summer, they said they're gonna have a mariachi band here. I will be back. In fact, did I mention I will be back? Because if I didn't, I will be back.
Seriously. If you ever like, you're gonna take somebody on a date and you want to impress them, I'd bring them here. Even if you're visiting Niagara Falls, I'd come here. I'd bring them here. Hands down, one of the best dining experiences I've ever had. I don't usually order seconds after I order 10 dishes, but I'll be back. Now I'll finally say goodbye. And I've tried pretty much everything and it only just keeps getting better. So that everybody, have a lovely life. And like I said, I did clarify, they are gonna do takeout, pickup. So just come, things are closed as of tomorrow. Restaurants might be closed, but you know what's not closed? Taco Embassy. Thank you, everybody. Until next time, don't do what I do. An award for the coolest looking restaurant I've ever been in officially goes to Taco Embassy. This place is amazing. So here we got a mariachi room. So they got the mariachi singers, we got the dancers on the walls. This place is freaking beautiful. And I'm gonna show you the rest of it, check this out. So we have up here, we have an Aztec room. Super cool. We have a Mucho Libre room, so like all the wrestlers and, and stuff. Which is super, super, super cool. And then we have this room, which is made after some, uh, like, themed after some famous painters uh, from Mexico. So this is super cool. Like, it's like three restaurants in one. This guy too. He was saying in Mexico City, there's the uh, Arena of Mexico, the Mexico of, uh, Me Arena of Mexico. Um, and apparently it's like 20,000 people packed every Friday. Here we got Jack Black, Mucho Libre, the Taco Embassy Champion, whose belt I stole today. This is a cute little nook. I'm coming back here. And they have this, uh, they have this cool patio. I'll show you guys this patio. I love this place, just the architecture and everything, and the staff, phenomenal, so cool. And look at here, they're in this, uh, they're this patio out here. This is gonna be bumping in the summer. Like, I'm gonna be back, have some, I have a mariachi band here, sitting out on the patio, the sunshine, eating some delicious Mexican food. Some people probably drinking some Mexican drinks as well. What a place.